Hey, welcome in. Well, this feels a little dystopian to me. Pastor behind bars again after being hunted by police helicopter search in Alberta. So, the Alberta government, which is supposed to be a conservative provincial government, supposed to be conservative, uh, so they are hunting a pastor with a helicopter to stop him from doing what he wants to do and what, apparently what the congregation wants him to do. Again, feels kind of like a uh, dystopian movie or something, doesn't it? And listen, I am not a religious man myself, okay? But I can see beyond my own shadow, for God's sake. Can anybody see beyond their own shadow these days? Can anybody think of, I don't know, slippery slopes or unintended consequences? You know, maybe letting the government determine everything you can do to arbitrarily just decide what you can and can't do. Maybe it's not a great thing. <laughs> Maybe it's just not. Maybe down the line, a lot of people might regret at just handing over this power to people who seem to be more concerned with what teleprompter readers say about them than the people that they're supposed to represent. And I understand the argument of people who would support this sort of thing, that it's a public health issue, all of that. I'm just saying that you might be getting more than you bargained for in the long run. Somewhere beyond where your shadow lies today. So anyway, the uh, the Alberta government is hunting down pastors with helicopters. Great news. Never thought I'd hear that line. Anyway, a Baptist pastor from Alberta was arrested for a second time following an aerial police discovery. An aerial police discovery of his previously clandestine church gathering, as reported by the Calgary Herald. Uh, Pastor Tim Stevens was arrested after officers arrived at his house to inform him of an alleged court order violation. Uh, the police informed Stevens that he had disobeyed the order by hosting an outdoor, outdoor event with hundreds of Christian worshipers. So we already know, I don't even need to bring up an article. Like we all know at this point that outside is good. We know that the more you're outside, the less risk you have of contracting something like this. So again, I mean, they're not crammed in somewhere, right? So why are they so obsessed with this pastor that he can't even have an outdoor event? Again, this feels very dystopian, doesn't it? And here we have from Rebel News. Um, it's a video. Uh, as police in Calgary, Alberta arrested Pastor Tim Stevens of Fairview Baptist Church for a second time. It's the second time now on new charges stemming from his hosting of an underground church services the past two weekends. But underground is just outside, right? That's what it's saying in here. They weren't doing it in an, in an elevator. Anyway, according to the Daily Wire, Stevens tried to debate the religious and legal grounds for the violation. To which one officer replied, uh, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, right? So we're not getting into this philosophical debate. Well, this is interesting. He said that give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. What is that? Uh, Render unto Caesar is the beginning of a phrase attributed to Jesus in the Synoptic Gospels, which reads in full, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's and unto God the things that are God's. This phrase has become a widely quoted summary of the relationship between Christianity, secular government, and society. And that's how I've always read it. I've always read it as a justification for separation of church and state. And taxes are the realm of the state, but not your soul. And just to take it further, that the, the, the state and the personal are different things. The personal is not the realm of the state. Caesar can call for the, the coins that have his head on them, but Caesar doesn't get to tell you what to think. Again, the personal is not the realm of the state. And I agree with that. But apparently this uh, police officer is not interested. Concern over C-19 has led to many similar instances of these interactions between religious leaders and police, including a previous interaction Stevens had with the police for similar violations back in May, according to the Calgary Herald. But keep in mind that for this one, he's outside. It's an outdoor. It's an outdoor event. That is that is something different, okay? Regardless of how you feel about this pastor, right? That is something else. 
And that brings us to this. States with the fewest coronavirus restrictions. This is from April 6, 2021. It's from the U.S., and the U.S. presides a pretty good sample size and a lot of different states with different uh, protocols. And we find this graph in here. And this is of interest, C-19 death rate versus restrictions. At red, you have few restrictions and high death rate. Green, you have few restrictions and low death rate. Blue, you have many restrictions and low uh, death rate. And gray, you have many restrictions and high death rate. So you have states with few restrictions and states with many restrictions. Uh, red being the fewest, gray being the most. So what do we have? On this axis here, it shows you uh, from fewest restrictions to most restrictions. On this axis, we have uh, the death rate ranking from fewest to most. So what do we have? What are the colors with the fewest, with the fewest deaths? Well, green, which is few restrictions. And then balancing that out almost perfectly, you have blue with many restrictions. So there's not much difference between those two, is there, for some reason? Then we can compare the fewest restrictions with the most restrictions. Again, basically the same. And in fact, there's another graph, which uh, I, for some reason I can't find on the internet anymore, <laughs> but it shows an average of the most restrictive states and the lowest restrictive states in two different lines. And they basically track perfectly with each other. Uh, meaning there's no difference. It's not clear that lockdowns, that preventing people uh, like Pastor Stevens from holding events or preaching to his congregation, there doesn't appear to be any real evidence that, that these lockdowns actually do anything, at least from the information that we have now. And if that is the case, then it makes you wonder, what is the point of hunting down pastors with helicopters? Is it in the public health interest? That's not clear that it is. So what is the purpose of this? Is it just to prove a point? I think that's what we're looking at here. And I want to remind you, the provincial government in Alberta is a conservative government. So what that says about the current political climate in Canada, well, you can decide for yourself. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the podcast, Radio Baloney. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.